Discover Oroville, a universal and experimental town situated about 10 kilometers north of Pondicherry. It was created in 1968 by a French woman named Mira Alfasa, known as the Mother. What strikes you when you first arrive in Oroville is the artistic and cultural richness of the people. Shakti is a choreographer whose work is inspired by both Indian and American cultures. She teaches girls a new form of dance, mixing traditional and contemporary styles. Grace, a native of Oroville, learned the art of Kolam. It's a traditional art of South India and she teaches it to visitors. This powder is a mix of farine de riz with a caillou called limestone. It's a stone very thin that is crushed and it makes it like a crée. Columns are a tradition passed down from mother to daughter. They are colorful designs made on the ground at the front entrance to a home to celebrate the goddess Lakshmi who brings luck and prosperity. Louis is a French painter who has been living in Oroville for over 20 years. After being involved in furniture making, he started a creative business where he experiments with different materials like fabric, glass, and resin. He also wants to start a school for architecture, decoration, and arts and crafts. I came to Oroville 22 years ago and I've been a professional musician before. I explore the, the way to practice my instruments uh, has many, many layers that lead actually very deep inside. I found a lot of space here, inside, outside also a lot of possibilities to express and research on aspects of the uh, music I'm doing that was not so uh, fixed with commercial success. 
Half Fresh is an intuitive abstract artist. To become an artist wasn't a conscious choice, but a natural expression of her being. Art is a process of meditation for me. I let the inspiration work through me. I do not let my mind interfere in the process. Auroville is a place where people are seeking to find peaceful solutions to the problems that the world is facing. And I'm a dreamer and I believe that we can have a beautiful world full of love, light and harmony. And from that inspiration comes my art to find a peaceful, loving world. Vera hypnotizes us with her musical bells and she enchants the birds who answer to her music by responding in song. like my family background also because my father, my uncle, they are from the theater background. So for me, I think it's, it is my blood, I think. So I always want to, to be a dancer from my childhood. This is a fish and this is um, the wild boar. Wild boar and this is the eagle, the bird eagle. And two birds, love birds, and it's two snake. snake. Panchana wants to pass on her passion of dancing. She works with Indian girls from modest backgrounds, all very motivated and ready to fulfill their teacher's demands. The reward of this dedication is a breathtaking show. While everyone is busy with their own creative projects, Oroville and surrounding villages keep to their religious and cultural traditions. The Pongo Festival is a good example. Oroville is a wonderful place where innovations, modernities, and traditions mix together, like the mother had wished, to bridge the past with modern times.